morning. Happy Thursday. So on today's agenda, it's the same thing. <laughs> I'll give you one guess what I'm doing today. I finished one of the frames and I keep looking at it, wondering if I should add a little more rub and buff. So let's take a vote. Let's look at it together and take a vote. I scrubbed this frame with a toothbrush. There was a little bit of gold here, so I added some rub and buff here. I added a little bit on the detail here, and then I added it on the edge. I think you can see it. But I don't know if it's needing more rub and buff or maybe a lighter color, but I, I think it needs some help. What do you think? Taking apart the other picture frame, that has the intimidating picture <laughs> in it. I didn't know it was chalk. These are chalk. I'm just flipping them around and putting them in there just in case I ever decide to put Mr. Simmendinger in it. And his wife's name is Nellie. got this question about rub and buff and I thought I would show you what it does, what it looks like, how easy is it is to use. And I just learned because I put a little too much on the frame yesterday, you can take a brush with soap and water, clean it off. I had no clue. So hope that helps you. So here's what it looks like and here's how to so these are the different rub and buffs that I have. They come in more colors than this. Usually my favorite is the European gold, which I used on this frame, but I didn't like how it wasn't coming up much. So I actually used, where is it at? Oh, poop, where did it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> frame, I didn't rub it off because I use such a little amount on the brush that it really doesn't need to be rubbed off. But let me show you what I did. So this is what I do. I take a little brush for projects like this. I barely even squirt any out and put a little on the brush. And then I just go around. Oh, you can't see. I just go around to the spots and just touch it like this. That is it. And then when I need more, I just squeeze a teeny tiny bit out and same. And that's it. If you want to wipe it off, you can if you're using doing a bigger a bigger project. But since this is so little, I don't. We live very close to a little strip mall that has Harris Teeter and PetSmart, Target, etc. And they also have crumple. We deal with each other that if we wanted crumble cookie, we had to walk there and it's a little over a mile. So we just got back. Let me show you what we got. This is the lemon poppy seed. And I don't know if this is warm. No, this isn't served warm. This one is a peanut butter cookie with a glob of chocolate on it. So this one is mine. 